Hello, Ian here, Tamar Caravan Centre. This video is going to demonstrate how to operate the Aldi 3030 control panel. To turn the panel on, you press this power button just here. This will then just boot up and get ready for use. So what you do is you just press the menu button and it'll take you to a home page like this. So if you want to adjust the, the temperature, this is just telling us the internal temperature at the moment. We're plugged into mains and it'll give you the time if you've set it in there. So you press this one and then you can select the temperature that you want it to be. If you want the heating to come on, you would need to make sure that it's above whatever temperature is in the top just there. So you just keep pressing the plus until it goes past that temperature. It goes all the way up to 30. If it's too hot and you want to turn it down, you just turn it down like that. Then you just press the menu, that'll take you back to this home page. The energy is how you're feeding the heating system. So you press energy and then you have electric or you have gas. So what you can do is you can select one kilowatt, two kilowatts or three kilowatts. Um, I personally always recommend running on one kilowatt. Um, this uh, very roughly is 4.2 amps. Um, so if you're on a 16 amp site, this is quarter of your allowance that you're using on just on heating and hot water. If you went on to two kilowatts, roughly 8.4 amps, uh, that's half of your allowance. And if you went on to three, well, you get the picture. This one over here, if you wanted to use gas, you can have a mix of gas and electric. It would use gas, uh, um, the electric uh, as its main uh, point, but it will use gas if required. And if you're off grid, then you can turn the electric off and you can have just gas. You can turn the gas off there like that. Back to the home page, and then this one here will give you your hot water. So you have off, on, and boost. So I normally leave mine on on all the time, uh, so that gives us plenty of hot water for doing the, uh, the dishes. Don't forget this model also has the uh, Aldi Flow system. Um, so for Aldi Flow, you'll need to have it on um, the gas and the electric, and on to boost. There are some deeper settings on this one, so you press menu just here. This will take you through into three, one of three pages. So you have your night mode, which you select here like this, and then you press that one to take you in. You turn it on, you'd set the time that you want it to be and the time you want it to go off. And then you can choose which days and you can program it all in. Press that little arrow to go back and to turn it off, you select it like that. You also have a day version of the same thing. So you can set it uh, to start and to end. You have your indoor temperature and your hot water is on. If you don't want it on, you just select off like that. The pump is always best to leave it on auto. So um, this has a glyco and antifreeze that's pumping around the heating system. You just want to leave that on automatic. The next one down is the delayed start. So if you have programmed in lots of dates and times, um, but one particular day you change your plans, you, rather than going in and changing all of the settings, you can just go into delayed start and then you can just say which one it is you want to delay. Back to the arrow and turn it off if you don't want it. This one here you've got the external signal and 12 volt. You literally just scroll through to the next page and now we're on page two or three. So you've got a sensor calibration for indoor and outdoor. So this is if you wanted to uh, get the control, the Swift Command control panel to match what you have on the Aldi control panel. Um, you've got your display, so you've got your brightness and your page uh, status. The next one is your sound, so you can turn the little beep off if you don't want that. I like to leave it on. The next one is your language, if you want to practice your French. And down here you've got your service information. Uh, that's where we go when we're servicing the van, so I'm not going to take you into there. This one is your system configuration. Again, that's something that we would recommend you speak to your um, dealer about. And you also have a reset function. This one is quite handy. So if you have been playing and you're not sure um, what you've done, you can just go into reset. It will ask you if you're sure that you want to reset and you press yes. 
or reset. What that will do is it will turn everything off and power it down and it will send it all the way back down to the beginning again. So then you do turn the panel on and it will take you right back to the start and you can go all over. To turn the control panel off, you just press that panel there like that. I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you do have any questions or would like to get in contact with us, please feel free to give us a call or look at our website. We also have lots more videos on tutorials, which you can watch just here.